This episode of Make Live is brought to you by DigiKey. Um, great. So last episode, we introduced a new segment called Maker Mailbag, and it's where we show off what all of you have been working on. So Maker Dino, uh, a.k.a. Dino Segovis from North Carolina, um, t- he um, wrote in to tell us about his automatic ball launcher for docs. Let's take a look. Hi, Becky. Hi, Matt. Thanks for having me on Make Live today. I've got a project here I'd like to share with you and the viewers out there. It's an automatic ball launcher I made for my dogs. It was inspired by Jerry the Sausage Dog and his video that you've probably seen on YouTube. I made one similar to that that had a sled and kind of a slingshot assembly, but it was too complicated. I wanted something much simpler. So in an epiphany moment recently, I came up with this. It uses a power window motor from a car and a Roomba robot battery to power the whole thing. So let's take it over to the bench here and I'll give you a closer look at how it works. All right, first I need to show you the basics behind how this thing works. Uh, This is the general idea. It's a lever that gets pulled in a circle and it has a spring that's connected to a point on the the lever. And uh, as it gets spun around like this, the ball would sit where this black dot is. Once it gets over center, whack, it hits the ball and launches it. Let's take a closer look at the launcher itself now. This is where the ball comes out. The ball goes in to this hopper area right here, drops down into the chute. It's powered by a Roomba robot battery. I hack a lot of things out of Roombas, they're really handy. There's a charger port still on it. I need to monitor the charge basically by just the temperature of the battery. There's no automatic cutoff. The relay here handles the load from the battery to the power window motor. There's three switches on the entire device. One is the on-off switch, obviously. And the one that triggers the ball to get launched is down here inside the chute. It's a small micro switch that I salvaged from some printer or something. It was a limit switch. It's very sensitive. When the ball hits that, that starts everything into motion and gets the arm rotating around. And then as the arm rotates, it launches the ball and it needs to come back and park itself. And so the way that it parks itself is with this small other micro switch that's on a little cam on that round part of the power window motor. Now I'm going to trigger the device and you can watch it in action. Just like the small model I showed you. Now let's take it outside for a demonstration. Good girl. That's one. Good girl, right here. really all about trying to pitch that thing. Nope. <laughs> Too quick. Good girl. That works pretty good. You just put the bacon bit right in the hopper. Right here. Do it again. In. In. <laughs> what a coot. Come on. In. 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 Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Well, there you have it. Soapy and the ball launcher. And uh, if you want to see more of my projects, visit uh, dinofab.com or hackaweek.com where I'm posting one hack or project per week for at least the next year. So thanks again for having me on the show, Matt and Becky. Hey, Sophie, want to go play some more? Yeah, you're such a great girl. Oh, thanks, great. Dino. That yeah. was great. And thank you, and thank you, Sophie. Um, keep an eye out on your mailbox. Uh, we're going to be sending you a Maker's Notebook. In addition to your DigiKey prize. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got the DigiKey <laughs> yeah. prize, and we'll throw in the Maker's Notebook, Excellent. too, for uh, sending that in. So if you want to send in a project, uh, our email address is live at makescene.com. Tell us what you're working on, what you'd like to see in the show, something you want to learn about.